Hi everyone, welcome back to Diecast Toys Plus. And we are going to continue on with my <coughs> uh, Matchbox 70s. Um, we'll continue on with some more of those. Uh, Tommy's not here again. He kind of has been busy. He, he kind of, I don't know, he likes to do his Tommy Tuesday and some other videos. This one here he's not really that into. but So we'll continue on anyhow without them and uh hopefully you'll enjoy this the video subscribe hit the like button so we'll start out with this guy here and this is the row of maddox car the back exhaust uh moves these exhaust pipes move in and out there's little uh clips see that little clip right there on the wheel when it rows it pushes on something inside there and it makes these go in and out these things they pop in and out and this is called the quipper is what they call this one and this one is from 1973 and the hatch opens up on it <clears throat> so that one's in pretty nice shape there uh, next we'll go with this guy here uh, i think i have the orange version i don't just don't know where it is and this is a uh, rowley a rally rally or something like that I'm, I'm not sure how you pronounce that also from 1973 this one also has the opening doors actually this variation is not from 73 the solid orange one is from 73 this one's probably like i don't know 79 78 79 maybe 80 somewhere in there this version came out but the casting is from 73 and i'm not really sure where my orange one is somewhere in a box and we got this guy here this is a Saab Sonic they call it the rear hatch opens on it uh Saab Sonic or yeah Sonic Sonic 1973 and I don't know if there's any other variations of this car I'm not too sure I think this is the only variation, but I could be wrong. Maybe there is another variation of it. But I'm not really sure. <clears throat> then we have this guy here. And this is an aromatics. The fan moves, spins when you row the back tires. And this one is called Fandang, Fan, Fandango or something. Fandango, 1973 or 72. 73, 72, and this is the white one, number 35. And there's also a red variation. And that fan moves too. Kind of rose. Uh, got red interior on that one. I know, I think there's, this one's got a white base. That one's got the red base. I think there's one of these that has a, a silver fan in here in the red. And there's a, there is a couple of different variations of it. Just like slight variations. Uh, let's see. Then we'll start with this guy here. And this is the Ford Capri. And this is actually from 1970. And it's the Ford Capri. <clears throat> this one here is from when I was a kid. The tow hook's a little messed up. And there's no hood on it. The hood's missing off of it. But we painted it red. So that's that one. I just, I keep it because that's an old childhood car. Uh, so there. But then here it is in the, the purple version. With the tow hook. Opening hood. And this is purple. The Ford Capri. 1970. So we have the purple version. Then we have the orange version. The opening hood purple one's a little not not as nice it's it's a nice car but it's got a little bit of wear on it and this one here's the orange one and then i got the the pink version with a black hood and this is kind of like a pink kind of looks orange and and on the uh camera but it's actually a pink kind of like a peach color it's got this little red, this round spot on the roof. Not sure what that's from. 
why it's on there. Some probably maybe a, a paint defect from the factory, maybe. I'm not really sure. This one here is a little tougher, I think, to find with the black hood. I think that's a little that one's probably the toughest out of the three. Then they took it and they made it into a Roomatic, and the front engine pops up on it. It moves up and down. And they called this one the Hot Rocker. The Hot Rocker. And this one came out in 73. Still has the tow hook in the back. Still has the right side steering. They just took the hood off and put a bigger motor in it. And made it into a row of And there's a, the green version. Of the same car in green. A little loose back there. I don't think the tire should be going up that far. Yeah, it's a little, maybe a little wore out there. Then there's also the Maxi Taxi version. This one, the tow hook's kind of messed up on. And this one is, uh, this one actually says Maxi Taxi on it instead of Hot Rocker. And it's got a black base on it. Then we have this guy here. And this one is called the Hellraiser. Hellraiser, this one's 1975. So you got the white one. And then there's also a blue version. Same car. White version came out first and the blue version came out afterwards. I'm not sure what year the blue one came. Got, it's actually got a painted uh, base. It's kind of like this gray painted base where this one's an unpainted chrome base, just a regular metal base. All right, then you have the off ever popular mini haha -ha with the guy. Got the guy there, the big motor on it, big tires. 1973. Or 76 76 maybe mini haha -ha. no interior just got the guy in there big fat wheels three four pipes for the exhaust <clears throat> then you have this guy here this is the turbo fury turbo fury and this is also a row Maddox the the fans in the back row, they move around. This is actually based on the Blue Shark. If you look at it, it's exactly like the Blue Shark until you get to the to the guy, and then they just change the back of it. But otherwise, it's the same 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 casting, more or less. Just redid the back. And this is the only variation of this that I I think I don't know if there's any. I don't. I've never seen any other variation of it, but there could be one. I just haven't seen one. Then we got this guy here. The back opens on this one. And this one's a Mazda. Oh, Datsun. My fault. This is not the Mazda. This is the Datsun. Datsun. Was it? One, 128X. 1973. <clears throat> I know some of these come in without the flame. I think it's just solid yellow without the flame, and then some have the flame on it. And then there's this one here, which is kind of the same car. It has, you know, the back opens on it. It's the same one, but I think they have a different name for this car. I think this is, might be a Roman numeral car. And I think uh, it says Golden X on it, 1973. Uh, does it doesn't have a number on there? And it's a silver one. Windshield looks like it's melted. So it's a little rough. But it's a variation I didn't have. Then we got the forklift. And uh, these go up and down. And it also moves a little bit. This one does not have the steering wheel on it. It's got the molded in steering wheel, but there's some that have a actual steering wheel that pops up out of the casting and uh there's what else? there's different like color forks i think this is the yellow one 
This one's kind of rough. I'll have to get a replacement for this. And get one with the steering wheel in it. So I have this one here. It's another non non steer wheel, just mold it. But this one's got the, the extra long forks on it. See, they've got the bigger forks on this one. This one I think is from a like a set. And you had like a truck, and then I think this goes on the back and it had containers on it. Because it's got the longer forks on it. So those two. And I got the the Blaze Buster. Ladder goes up in the air. Doesn't no, it doesn't extend out. Black base. Blaze Buster 1974. But then it also comes with a silver base. Or unpainted base, I guess you call it. Unpainted and then a black base. But otherwise the truck is pretty much all the same. Just a different color base on it. Or the black base compared to the unpainted base. I think there's shades of red. There might be a couple different shades of red. And then you got this one here. And this is the cement truck. I think I just call it just cement truck. It'll focus in. Kind of hard to... Yeah, just cement truck. And this tilts. Uh, I know there's some that have a gray barrel. This is the yellow one. This is the most common one, but there is a gray barrel one. Um, I think the truck only comes in red, though. I don't think I've ever seen it in any, any other color. I know the barrels are different. And I got this guy here, and this is just a bulldozer. I think that's all they call it, 1976. Or big bull, big bull, big bull. It has the tracks on it. The tracks are still on it. There's a tow hook back there. It's a pretty nice shape. And I got this bulldozer here. This one's got a cap on it. This is a newer version of that one. But I this one's this one's actually newer. This I don't know. I, I put this in here. But this is like from 79, I think. But then I have this version, this army one, with no top. And I thought it was this truck, but actually it's a different bulldozer. It's different than both of those. But it does have a tow hook on the back. Uh, can't read the base. Army version. That's like a twin pack uh, vehicle. You know, it comes in a two pack. Then we got this tank. A little dusty. And this one is called the Weasel. Weasel. And this is also an Arctic uh, Rollomatic. I don't know if it's going to do anything. This gun is supposed to move from side to side when you roll it. And it moves a little bit. Moves a little bit. And then I also have the Army One that comes in the two pack. And I know there's some updated ones of this too. Like it comes in a couple different camouflage, five packs from like the 80s, later 80s. But these are the early ones, the 70, 73, I think this came out. And 1973, it looks like. Let's get those two. Then you have this one. And you see it's all dusty. I gotta get it cleaned off. This is the Stout, Stout or something, 73, and that's also a real Mac, and what it's supposed to, that guy is supposed to spin, and he's spinning a little bit, he spins a little bit, this guy kind of turns around, and I also have the uh, two-pack one in the green, the Army Green, and I think these are the only variations of this, it's just this gold one, and this military green variation as long as we're in military got this field gun uh, some of these I think they have a platform that this sits on and it's got a couple guys and I think you could put like a little missile inside there doesn't work or anything 
Oh yeah, it does. So yeah, you can put a little missile in there and then shoot it, shoot it off. But I only have this. I don't have anything else. See, it's got the tow hook on here on the back, so you can you can hook it like up onto like this guy or anything with a tow hook, and then you can just drag it along. I think it drags on the back of the the Jeep. The last video where we had the little military Jeep that had a tow hook on it. So that can go on there. Next, we got the Badger radar truck. And it's called the Badger 1973. This actually has the same front end as the cement truck. And then they just changed the back of it. This one's got the uh, this gray, gray or chrome chrome radar, and then I have this one that has a black radar. This one's actually a nicer shape than that, that truck. It's actually a nicer shape one. So I got those two, and then I also have it in the got to have it in the army green. And this is a, kind of like a beige cream colored radar on the top of it. And this would be the Army version. A lot of Army ones in this video, it looks like. Next, we have the Fawn dump truck. And this has got a metal, but metal, this is all metal cab, but it's got a plastic base. And this is from 76, it should be. And it's a. Uh, let's see, their England matchbox. And it's a Fawn dump truck. 1976. So I know the newer versions of this, they have a different name. They don't have Fawn on it no more. Like, I don't know if this, this is another version I have. It's actually got a metal dump bed on it, too. See, in this one here, it just says dump truck on it. On the base, it just says dump truck. And it's got a different year, 1989. So that's a newer version of the same same truck. They just changed it. They took the fawn off and they put a different date on it. And then there are some of the newer ones. This dump bed is plastic. It's now no longer metal. Next, we got the Swamp Rat boat. 1976. And is this a Romatic? No, this is not Romatic. But this guy does move. You can turn him. He turns around in here. But it's not a Romatic one. And then you have this guy, the personnel carrier. I think this truck also comes with black hubs. This is the chrome one, but I think there's a black hub version of this. Uh, I think it's, yeah, just personnel carrier. And that's about the only other variation of it that you see. Otherwise, they're, this is about the only way it comes. You see a lot of these with the heads of these guys all cut off. These are all still in good shape. Or the gun's missing off the top. So this one here is in nice shape. And I got the Volkswagen Drag. VW, it's got my initial on it. So this is one from when I was a kid. 72? I think it says 72 on it. I still have the uh, hitch or the hook to hold the body up. Kind of kind of took care of it. Just figure, you know. And 72, I bought it. Brand, I think I got it brand new out of the package. Still has the stickers on it and everything. So it's in pretty good shape, but... Guess I took care of it. And then you have the the blue version, the blue big blue, same VW. Uh, that thing does go back up in there. Well, yeah, there it goes. This has got a gray base on this one. Oh, they changed the name on it. Uh, Beetle Dragster still. 1972, but it's got a Macau base on it. So that's definitely a 80s variation. 
And then this one here, the brown and black with the white stripe. And this one I think has got a different name on it. This one says, I think, this one should say hot chocolate on it. Yeah, hot chocolate. And it's got a, a Roman numeral on it. But it's a Lesney made in, oh, it's made in Hong Kong? Oh. Is that made in England? So you got that guy. Then you have this Volkswagen. Yeah, and this one, this is another one. Got my initial on it. Uh, this is the Volks Dragon, I think. Yeah, Volks Dragon. 1971. It's missing. There's a uh, there's a sticker that goes on the hood, but I don't I don't have the sticker on this one, obviously. And then there's also this version, the High Ho Silver. High Ho Silver version. This one's a little rougher, rough shape, Hong Kong. And there's also a black one. There's, there's one that's all black that's got flames on it. That one I don't have. That one I still haven't been able to scrounge her up. One of these days, I'll get one. And here you go. This is the Lamborghini Countach. 73. I think the rivets... Yeah, this one, the rivet is... And broken off back there because the back kind of fold, base folds down opening rear hatch on it oh this is another one of mine from when i was a kid it's got my initial right there on it that's why i've been keeping this one instead of getting rid of it because i've had some nicer ones of this and i i sold them off i keep this one because it's from my childhood and then here's the yellow version of it with the rear hatch open number three on the hood black base just like the other one my Rikini Countach is it gonna focus in or no yeah there it goes Lesney made in England 1973 alright then we got this guy the MB team matchbox unpainted base and this is the high rider high tight tailor high tailor or something 1974 and then I have this one with the seven on there yellow guy there's a blue guy there but this one has a red base on it two variations of that guy now I have the Stretcha Fretcha Ambulance. This one here, the back door opens on it. And this one I think is also 1971. Yep. And this also comes with a chrome base, or an unpainted base, I should say. And there's also, there's a red variation of this, which is really rare to find. The truck's all red. But then there's also this variation, the Viper van in green, and it has a white door on it. And this one says uh, 1980. So same ambulance, just a different variation of it. And we got this guy here with the cargo on the back and this, this is another one from when I was a kid I never lost the cargo all these years 40 some years 40 some years and I still have it because this is 77 I think and if it will focus in doo -doo -doo. there we go let's move those cars out of the way 77 and this is the Ford Transit I still have my cargo tow hook on the back. So that's pretty cool to still have that. And then you got this guy here. These motorcycles, they do come off. They kind of just slip right off. And then you just put them back on. And it's another one from when I was a kid. 
77 hold and pickup. I know there's like a dark maroon version of this. I don't have that one, but I have this guy here, and I have not been able to find a replacement yet for it. And this is the cream version. This one's in a little rough shape. Plus, I'm missing the motorcycles in the back. And there's those. There's also a there's a blue version of this that's really rare, really hard to find, and very expensive. And then you got this guy here, and this is the Firebird. Pontiac Firebird. Focus in. Maybe it will. Yeah, 1975 Pontiac Firebird. As far as I know, this is the only variation of it, just this blue. I've never seen it in any other color. But then you have, like, the Trans Am car, which has got a different front end. And, the, and then it comes with a T-top and without a T-top. But that, that car comes with a bunch of different variations. But this one here, I've only seen it in blue. I've never seen it anywhere else in any other color. You got the Mercedes. Some Mercedes here. Uh, let's see here, 1973, it should say on the base. If it'll focus in. Come on. And my camera's old, I know. I, I need to get a replacement. So Mercedes 350 SL, 1973. The yellow one was the first one. First one. But then there's also this burgundy colored one. It has a white roof on it instead of a black. And then there's also this one here, which is kind of like a red. So you have a burgundy and a red. Glass is tinted different. Got different tints on the glass. So there's these, these guys. And then, there's, then it came out as just no top convertible in this blue. This is definitely a newer version. It says 73 on there, still says England. But this was probably like around 1978, 79. They took the roof off and then they put the convertible roof top here. On that one. And we got the Wells Fargo armored truck in red. Mm. Armored truck. 1978 there's a green version of this which is really difficult to come by so that, that's that guy and we got the horse box got my initial on the front of it black base but I still have my horses never lost my horses still got my horses See, these are small. See how small they are? You, get, you look at some of these newer ones, they got gigantic horses. These are small. The early ones had the small horses, and then later versions, they, they made them bigger. So there's that horse box. And I got these two crane trucks. Um, this one I think I keep because, yeah, this has got my initial on it. This is my original one. I was going to get rid of it, but then I figured, eh, you know what? It's got my initial. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it. But it's a little rough. And then this is an updated version of it. In actually nicer shape. But there is one that has a black boom instead of yellow. And then I had, which I got rid of because I needed the money, but I had the German version. The one from Germany. It was red. The truck's all red. And uh, it was still carded, and all the carding, all the writing on the carding was in German. I actually had three. I had this one, and then I had the uh, shovel nose tractor and the skip truck. I had all three of them, but I sold them off because I needed the money. Wish I would never did that, but when you need money, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. So now I can't I can't find them and I can't replace them because they cost too much money. But it was really nice having them. I enjoyed having them when at the time I had them. So then we got this guy here, the Volkswagen Golf. 
VW Golf 1976 in green with the surfboards. The trailer hitch. So that's a good one, cool car. And I also have the yellow version with the red interior. And it's also in pretty nice shape. Got a black base, and they both have black bases. And then I just I just got this one not too long ago, the red one. So now I got all three. So next is to try to find one without the surfboards. A version without the surfboards. Because they have some of these without surfboards. And those are kind of difficult to come by. They're out there. They're just expensive is what it is. This one took me a long time to find. Because they're, they're, every time I try to buy one, it just gets goes way too high. I can't, I can't afford to pay that kind of money for them. So we're getting close here. So we'll get this Jeep next. And this one also is from when I was a kid. Well, a lot of, a lot of these are from when I was a kid. Didn't realize I took that many. 1977 CJ Jeep. And the red. And then you also have the uh, green version. With the tan top. This has got black interior. Same top. But black interior instead of yellow. And then you have the yellow one. Which also has black interior. But it's got a, a darker roof on it. A little bit darker roof on that one. They all have the tow hook. And this one's actually got a black base on this guy. Is this England still? Yep, it still says it's made in England, so. And that's those three. Kind of big for the, for the vehicle. It's kind of a big one, scale-wise. Then you get the Pantera. And this guy here. Tomas de Pantera. There it goes. Uh, what year? 73? And then I have this one, which has the decals on the side. And this one, does, this one doesn't. And this one here. There's also a ver version with an unpainted base. I don't. I had it at one time, and I I think I must have sold it off. And so now I need to get one with an un unpainted base version. I haven't gotten. I don't have that one. Then here's the blue version of it. This is a little bit newer. It's got a black base. Uh, da, da, da. See, this one's this one's made in Hong Kong. This is not made in England anymore. And then they they have the uh, grease lightning car. They call it. It's red and it's got a motor in the back here that sticks up out of here. I don't I don't have that version. That one I still have to get. And we got the car transporter. This one's in orange. And this one, I think, is another... Yeah, this is another one from my childhood, too. It's got the D on the base. There's a red one where this cab is red instead of orange. I don't have that version. But see, I still have my cars on there. I haven't lost any of my cars. So that's pretty good. And we got this guy here, Mustang. And this one's called Fanta Fantastic or something, or Van something. Yeah, Van Fantastic, 1975. But it's a Ford Mustang, just made into a wagon. So you have that one, and then you also have the one without the, the motor sticking out of the hood. And it's got the 34 sticker on it. Well, as far as I know, I think... I don't think they come, I think they only come with the white base, but I, I could be wrong on that. And then you got this one here, the Boss Mustang, which I'm missing the yellow one. I don't know, the yellow one must be in the box because there's a yellow version of this with a black hood. That was actually the first one that came out. It was that one. I don't know why I don't, I didn't find that one. I know I have it, I just, I don't know, missed it when I was going through the boxes. And this is 1972 Boss Mustang. And it has an opening hood. And then I also have the uh, the green version. 
It says Cobra on the side. Gloves in the, this is also says England. So there's those guys. And then the last car we're gonna look at would be the Piston Popper. And this one is a Roomatic. I got those cars in the picture. Oh, there it is. You can see it. It's starting to come in. This one will be 73. Yeah, uh, number 10 Mustang Piston Popper, 1973. And uh, this one is kind of down. You can't really see it. But these little red things, they go up and down when you spin the... Well, maybe not on this blue one. But let's see here. We got this one here. See, there's something. This is down too far. I'm going to have to replace that car. But then on this version, as you can see them, they go up and down. There we go. And this is the yellow one with the flames. England. And then I have this yellow version. Got the 60 on the side. Piston popper on the hood. Mach 1. Mustang. And that one also says England. And then the last one I got is the Sunkiss version in orange. Uh, what's it say on the hood there? Good vibrations. And it go up and down. 60 on the side, just like that one. But this one might not say England on the base. Which it says Macau. I think it says Macau. Yeah, this is definitely an 80s version. As far as, I think this is probably the last version they put out. So yeah, there you go. So that's another update. I'm getting through them. A lot of stuff from when I was a kid. And a lot of military in that one. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Comment down below. And we will continue on the next one. Again, I still have quite a bit on, to do. So we'll probably do a, one or two more videos. And then we'll be done with this. Try to do something different between in between the videos. Besides Tommy Tuesday, Tommy Tuesday, we'll try to do something else. So we'll catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will continue on. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, everyone have a good Christmas. And a safe Christmas. And, and you know, if you got snow. That's good for good to have snow for Christmas. There's no snow out here in Kansas, but you never know. The weather always changes. You never know what's going to happen. So uh, we'll catch you guys later. Bye.